District Court today orders operators of several international tech support scams to pay more than $5 million in penalties. The Federal Trade Commission says that the 14 companies masqueraded as major computer companies to trick people out of money. The problem solvers have heard from several viewers who recently fell prey to this con, including the woman you're about to meet. And even though the scammers didn't get any money from her, it still cost her plenty to clean up the damage. Gail Dobbs recently got a phone call she wished she never would have answered. So I answered the phone and then right away he said he was with Microsoft and I couldn't understand him because he had such a strong accent. But Gail understood the man was telling her there was something wrong with her computer. He said, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then he said to push the Windows logo right here and then the R mm -hmm. right there. And then I don't know if that's what hooked me into his computer or what, but essentially he took over my computer. After that, Gail says she was locked out of her computer and the man wanted $95 to fix it and for spyware. Gail says initially she gave him a credit card, but immediately regretted it. And then it dawned on me that this was all a scam. Gail called her bank immediately and they were able to deny that charge, but the story doesn't end there. Gail had to take her computer to a repair shop cost her about $300 to get it cleaned up and running again. Her advice, don't give control of your computer to anyone you don't know. And secondly, avoid taking that call if at all possible. Get caller ID and don't answer the phone. Now, Gail says that her computer store told her that she's not the first person this has happened to. And the problem solvers have also heard from others with the same story. So be warned, people in the Tulsa area are being targeted and if you have an issue you'd like the problem solvers to know about, just email us at problemsolvers at kjrh.com.